All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, so final step to this multi-part series of my process um, is going to be the final coat on the Wonder Woman cut after it is all done. So start to finish. Bear cut, epoxy, glitter, clear coat, Wait for 15 minutes, epoxy, light coat, wait for three to four hours, HTV glitter, using the embossing tool to apply the design onto the cup. Once you've got it on the cup, we're gonna do another light coat of epoxy, and then another three to four hours, and we're on our final coat, okay? So you should really have a little bit of a bump where the design is. Just slight raising and we're gonna completely coat over that with this next and final step. So I've used one and a half teaspoons each part of epoxy. I have put my bling glitter in it I'm going to stir it up. Then I'm going to use the heat tool to heat it up. This is making the smoothest glass. Effect. Sorry. Let me. Okay. I'm trying to get it here so you can see there aren't any bubbles as I'm stirring it up if there are any bubbles you can heat it up a little bit more I can't use too much heat because I use these little plastic cool little cups and they come in like a pack of I don't know 200 or so and that is what I use to mix my epoxy. So now to the application of the final coat. Once again, using my silicone brush, I'm going to start off with a light coat. Starting at the bottom, very light coat on the bottom. I have sprayed with rubbing alcohol and washed the cup. I didn't need to sand at all, which is my favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and do a very light coat over the bottom. Wipe around, making sure to keep the circle of the bottom. And I'm gonna start at the end and just work my way down. My goal is to get everything below the gold to start. Sometimes I get it on the bottom bottom, but we're just gonna work our way around the bottom of the cup making sure to get a nice full coat on it to cover up all of the raised HTV. Again, the silicone brush, can't say enough about them. They just smoothly go over the epoxy. I've only dipped twice, I believe now, and I am all the way around the bottom nice good coat of it and I'm going to start working my epoxy down onto my belt a Wonder Woman belt dip again and get the belt going and work my way down. I'm using pretty thick 
dips here. You can probably see the epoxy kind of flying off the cup. I want to make sure that it's fully coated. That there's no rivets or anything. Now, the reason I like, and I did use the finger method for a while, the reason I like the brush better is because even with the finger method, you can get the glove as tight as possible, but there's still wrinkles in the glove. And then you're getting it all gooped up on the glove and it's, you're having to switch fingers and I, I just, I feel like the brush just, it gets everything that's on the brush and transfers it onto the cup. I don't feel like it leaves extra. And I have dipped my brush now, I think that's third time from bottom to where I'm at, and I'm all the way up here, okay? Now, with this specific design, I need to make sure that I'm filling the star inside that because that is a pretty thick area that is going to be raised and indented, I guess you could say. So now, now that I've got a good amount on there, I'm going to start going back and forth, back and forth. and then down all the way around turning it with my hand inside got cut off there i apologize almost to the end here Just making sure to use my brush smooth it all the way around by this point the last coat is pretty quick as far as getting it on there Once I've gotten a good amount of epoxy all on the cup, and you can see it starting to drip. You just start from the bottom and you just work your way up this way and back. Back and forth, back and forth to make sure it's nice and even all the way around the cup. sure to not get any clumps because they are a pain to sand down and make look nice again. Sorry if you can hear that banging my kids upstairs. So I'm going to do one last good dip all the way around the cup.
brushing it towards me. One of the perks of the silicone brush is if you've got a clump of epoxy or like a lot of it in one area, instead of it soaking up into the brush, it's just going to move it to where your brush is moving to. Instead of getting soaked up in the brush and then becoming difficult to move around, like I feel like sponge brushes and even the finger method, my finger gets clumped up with excess epoxy and it's not moving very well because it's been sitting for so much time. I'm now just kind of looking all the way around, kind of letting it glare a little bit so that I can see to make sure it's all even because I want this to be my last coat on here and it is it is pretty even guys nice and shiny and now I am going to put it on my turner and I'm gonna wait about six to eight hours now and by that point um between my heat lamp up there and then after about four hours again i usually take it off and turn it upside down like this um and put it in front of my space heater um and turn it rotate it every hour or so um make sure it's getting all the same amount of heat on all sides and within about eight hours it's usually pretty rock hard cured um i like using heat um i definitely feel like it speeds up the process and um and hardens it pretty quickly um i am definitely happy with this cup and i have been using this cup along with the one that you see on the turner right there um been using both of them through these videos um, just because it makes the um, process a little quicker to be able to give you guys the videos um, a little faster instead of waiting the full you know roughly 24 hours that it would take so now I've got it going um, I'm gonna put this on the turner and we will be good to go um, I can't wait to see the finished product that I've done with y'all and I'm so glad that you asked me to do these um, ladies I, it really helped me um, get my get a little bit of courage for myself um, and and be okay with doing this kind of thing because I do have a lot of good techniques that I try and explain to people but videos are definitely probably easier for everybody. I'm a visual person. I'm sure a lot of people are. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to have done this and thanks y'all for being a part of it.